Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, avoid many upsets in your life. You're feeling anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 80, NASDAQ off 7.5, SPs off 2. Gold, gold contract down $19.70, trading at 19.53 an ounce. We have silver up a penny, $22.60 an ounce, light sweet crude off a buck 83. $75.54 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, up six ticks, trading 108.10. The 30-year up 29 ticks at 114.28 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 50 ticks, 105.590. Euro at 107, yen's at uh, 151. British pounds at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, yeah, took a lot of energy to get up here, folks. This is the building cause to get the higher price. So you can see that right where we are, this is, you know, this flack right here. There's no doubt about it. You know, we're fast and furious up there. We've been four days going sideways. We'll see how many more days you're going to go sideways. It's trying to take out this whole area here. That's, that's what it comes down to. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. Same type of setup inside the queues. What do you have with the Qs? Right now, the Qs are trading down 23 cents, sideways move, inside, inside day, but you can also see the same type of setup, man. You're just laying right across these. So, Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. So we have with the 10-year note, what you have, you know, we're going to need some more volume in order to sustain higher price in this 10-year. We're at 1.5 million contracts right now. You know, we had... The swing come in at uh, 2.8. So, you know, last Friday it was 2.8. It had volume, took out a swing point. That says you're going to be back up there. But you can see, you know, the last couple of days there hasn't been a lot of volume. My take is that we're taking it out. You know, we'll just see how this shakes out. Because it, it is good when you start going sideways. Because you can see what happened is that when we had the wide price spread accelerated volume, we broke the downtrend. So that's just to saying that the 10-year wants to go to the 114 level, and we're at 108. Now watch how this goes. At the, at the 114, if you look down the bottom here, see this July, is that July? Yeah, July 14th. See that right there? July, it's July 18th, actually. Now watch this. I'm going to turn around, and we just go like this. 10-year yield. Now watch how this goes. And your yield. Bar chart. Let me think. Let's try this one. Let's do this one right here. Okay, cool. This does it. Okay. You can see what's happening here. If you're watching Tiger TV, we're at 4.517 right now, right? Now you go to July 18th, okay, because that's where this thing is setting up. Now, we're at 4.5. Is this July 18th? Is it? Yeah, approximately July 18th. That's saying that, number one, when this, I just showed you that how we broke the downtrend. So that means it goes to the top of the range. You go to the top of the range, that means we come down another half a percent because that's four point right there, 4.00. 4.08. And what has happened, okay, is the mortgage rates. Now, check. So right now we're at 4.6. I mean, 7.6. Now, that was the largest drop in one week for a whole year, folks, okay? <laughs> That's how intense it was. And then just because of that, you had the mortgage application is actually up uh, 3% in one week. So it's going to get intriguing to see. The faster the drop, of course, the, mortgage, the, the more mortgage... The, 
people that are going to go for a mortgage, go for refinancing, go for all, all of that. We're going to take a look at that gold contract. What they have with the gold contract, we're pulling back on gold with dramatically lighter volume. We're talking about 1.6, no, 162,000 contracts coming into 270. Yeah, we're 270 right here. Let me, let me put this volume up so you can see this. And we're not even at a 0.382 retracement yet. So the gold contract can go to lower price. And, you know, we'll see when we get, when we get the rejection. You know, there's another spot right underneath here that was a huge sign of strength. You can see that that was at the uh, 1946 level. Or at 19, the high was 1946. That low there was uh, 1881, actually. That was a huge day. But you can see the contraction. The contraction is pretty dramatic. And most times you see that contraction, bottom line is not enough sellers. And that means we're still going to higher price. Then we go over to King Dollar. Now, this is the kicker, man. Because when we take a look at King Dollar, what you're going to see here is that each day it's having a hard time to try to get back in its higher range. That's how this is shaken out. You know, we, we saw that you, break, you broke the consolidation. We both break the trend line first on the way up. Then we broke the consolidation. And you can see that consolidation was going on for approximately three weeks. Then it broke down. Now you're trying to get back in the higher range. Now that higher range starts at 109.559. And you can see we're at 109, I mean 105. One second, yeah, 105. Hold it, no. 105? Yeah, it's 105.559. And we're at 105. 575. We tried it yesterday, couldn't handle it. Come up today, couldn't handle it. That's telling me that what? That we are on our way, bingo, right down here. That's, and that move, well, first that move, I suspect we'll get some support at 104, yeah, the 104.699 level, because that's where we broke out from. But all of this down here, this wants lower price. Oil. Let's go take a look at the oil market. Oil's been getting toasted and roasted. And we take a look at that oil market out here. Yeah, you're down with volume again. Oil's on its way to 72 bucks, man. Yep. We're at uh, 75.60. We hit 74.91. You get 396,000 contracts, so you're still coming down, you know, with volume. And there's, there's just nothing. You're, you're right in the middle. There's nothing here to hold oil up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.